All right, what's going on everybody? So we're gonna be playing some ice boat. Tesla just got announced that it's gonna get above. So definitely a good day for me. Um, he's gonna go mighty in the back first play, probably playing a hog cycle like every other player in this game right now. But anyways, um, before we get too deep into this video, I want to ask. So I'm almost at 20,000 subscribers. Um, I need you guys to drop down below what I should do for a 20K special. Cause I need good ideas. Um, and I wanna make it like, you know, obviously way better than just a normal video. Um, okay, what the heck? Uh, I probably, yeah, I kind of just panicked right there, not gonna lie. Um, probably should have just ignored that drill and went expo and won the game. But, uh, yeah, anyways. So, yeah, drop down what you think I should do for 20k in the comments. It can be... Just, well, I just want to hear what you guys have, to, like, what your ideas are, because um, I can make it pretty creative, but obviously there's limitations on what I can do. Um, could be, like... It can range from, like, one idea that I had was playing against every, like, all the popular CR YouTubers. Not popular, but, like, playing against all of them in a 1v1 with their main deck, um, all in one video. I feel like that would be pretty interesting to watch, and, I don't know, it would be, uh, like, fun to make. Um, but just let me know what you guys think down below. Anyway, let's focus on this game. Now I need to win these games. Tesla's getting a hit speed buff, I believe is what the buff was, um, which is fine. You know, I would prefer hit speed over, um, HP, to be honest, even though HP definitely could use a buff as well. Um, they're not going to buff it twice in one, in one, uh, oh, that was a terrible firecracker, by the way, in one update. Um, also, they didn't really do too many balance changes. They are nerfing the evolutions which obviously they had to do it like it's not like a good nerf by them they literally have no choice you have to nerf these cards because they're so broken but um yeah i don't know i guess they're making decent changes i wish they made more changes i know i saw a lot of people saying that they only made like five or six balances which is really low for them um maybe it was even four i'm not even sure but yeah i hope they make more before the uh, balances are completely released i know they're only work in progress right now but, um, how did that goblin just get a hit? Did you get, like, I put down evolved Larry's on top of the goblin drill, and it still manages to get a hit. Like, what? Um, I gotta start catching up on damage, so I'm honestly gonna go for the rocket NATO on top of that mighty miner. Really, really bad firecracker by him. Um, I think he wasn't expecting that tornado. He goes for another drill. We'll just get the Tesla down and then get the knight immediately. If he NATOs that, which he probably will. Did that goblin hit my tower, or am I, I don't know. I hope it didn't, because I literally logged right away. Um, but yeah, okay, this is gonna be a tough match. Usually I can win this matchup if I get a good start, but unfortunately we did not this time. It is very hard to, um, uh, defend over and over and over perfectly because they can just kind of make unique plays with the tornado on offense. I'm gonna go for the knight on top of the drill right here, and I think we're okay. If he firecrackers, that would be pretty annoying. I'm just gonna predict just in case he does, which he does. Okay, how did that hit my... Wow, that was like a centimeter away from my tower. It hit the one skeleton and almost got 900, 900 damage on my tower. That's what we love to see. Um, we'll go for the ice was down low. He's still pressuring, even though I have an expo on his board. Uh, okay, I'll go for the knight up high, please. Okay, knight's gonna walk away. That's exactly what I wanted it to do, not. Um, expo is gonna connect on tower. I don't know how we get a connection right there, but I'm not gonna complain. Let's see, if I go for another expo, I feel like it's gonna be just too aggressive and he's going to be able to defend fairly easily. So I'll just set up a defensive, I guess. Not really that ideal of a play. Okay, no, the firecracker survived. That was a really good ice spirit. I did not expect him to play in front of that firecracker. Um, definitely should not have taken that damage right there. This is going to be a little bit rough now. We're, we are in triple. I'll go for the Tesla up high. What do I do to break through this is the question. Um, okay, interesting firecracker. I'm going to go offensive bow. Get the ice was down on defense. Also go for the log and then skeletons on top of the drill. Go for a Tesla to help DPS down this bomb tower. Please connect. Expo, please. Nice. Okay, we get the connection. I'll go for the Knight he's going to Firecracker. Yep, nice prediction there. He does NATO, though, so the Expo, unfortunately, is going to get absolutely rolled by the Firecracker. But we don't take the tower damage, so we're up 700 damage now. Still not really safe because he can get a lot of damage in a hurry. So all right, there's the Firecracker. We'll go for the Knight down low. Skelly's up high. I need a log. Please, no. Oh, my gosh. Um, am I going to lose this right here? 20 seconds left. I can't go for two rockets. There's no way. I'm just going to have to try and defend my best and rocket at the end of the game. Um, I'll go for the rocket now, actually, because I need to focus on defense. Please don't take out my tower. Okay. 10 seconds left. Firecracker is going to chip my tower. Um, I'm going to go for the ice was low. And then four seconds. NATO to pull a goblin off my tower. <gasps> oh, my lord. Um, yeah. That... 
nice and easy win. Not even close. Uh, 7 HP, that's what we love to see. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got the next match here against... But how do you say this guy's name? I'm not even going to try and pronounce it so I don't get flamed in the comments. We'll just cycle a log. He's from AK Syndicate. So, oh gosh, Evolve Barbs in the back. I'm just beginning to hate the Evolve Barbs. I don't know why, but I cannot beat Evolve Barbs. They're just, I feel like they have so much HP and I just never, ever can take them out. Especially when they like build a whole push one lane and drop the Evolve Barbs in the opposite lane. It's just so frustrating to deal with. Um, anyway, going to go for the Knight in the back here. Looks like he's probably playing either Graveyard or Lava Hound. Um, there's a lot of Graveyard Barbs going around right now, which is kind of surprising because Graveyard you wouldn't think is that good in this meta. But, I mean, it's getting better as the meta goes on, I want to say. He is going to Fireball that, so probably Lava Hound since Graveyard usually has Poison or just like Arrow Snowball. Um, Alright, good log right there. He's probably going to have to respond to that Knight. I'm just going to go for the Tesla up high. And if he Lavas, which he is going to go Lava in the back, I'm going to go Expo same lane. If he has a Flying Machine, I can pull it towards my Tesla. So, we're looking okay right here might be a little bit hard to defend since i don't have anything in rotation right now um but worst case scenario hopefully we at least ta trade towers looks like we are going to get his tower he's not going to try and defend it um i guess i'll just cycle to an ice whiz get it down right now and see kind of how he responds to this there's the skelly drags okay i don't have enough for a rocket nato um this is exactly what i was talking about with the stupid of all barbs now i literally have to give up my right side tower and i have no choice just because it's this he like didn't play the normal ones he played the evolved ones if they were normal i could have defended both sides i promise um i'm just gonna nato back to help dps down all this garbage because i'm gonna get three crowned if i don't and yeah that just triggers me how it's literally it's just too hard to defend them. I don't, I literally have to spend like eight elixir to even try and defend them. And they're only five elixir to play. So it's like minus three every time. Let's go. Um, we'll go for the ice was in the back. He does have fireball. If he wants to play that, he's lame, but we'll see <laughs> if he does. I'm just going to go ahead and cycle skellies. There's the fireball. I guess he is lame. It is confirmed. I'll go for the Tesla up high. And if he lavas, then oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, we're already back to Ice Wiz. He's not even anywhere near Fireball, so we're completely fine in that aspect. Um, there's the Barb, so you know what's coming in the next time he plays them. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go for the Tesla down low, and let's see. Hopefully Skeletons can get me some value here. That would be awesome. Looks like they are not. Um, <laughs> I mean, they kind of helped a little bit, I guess. Could go, you know what, I am probably gonna go for the Expo here, just because... Um, I need to start being aggressive. I can't really let him keep playing lavas. I'll go for the skellies and then log these evolved barbs. He's just gonna fireball my expo. He missed the expo. Hold up, hold up. It's still not gonna matter because I can't kill the bar the barbs. They just don't die. They have triple the HP of a normal one. I swear. I, I, it's actually like I'm shooting a giant is what it feels like sometimes. Um, I finally get a connection. Yay! We get like 300 damage after that <laughs> entire sequence. Um, and him missing a fireball, we get 300 damage. That's what we love to see. This is why I play Ice Bow, guys. Uh, okay, <laughs> gonna go for the log on top of the barbs. Enough being salty. We'll go for the knight and then Tesla because he's probably gonna lava on the bridge. No, he's gonna fireball one single Ice Fizz. <sighs> and yes, he put that fireball down before the Tesla was there. I don't want to hear anyone say otherwise. Um, that was not a prediction. He was literally fireballing one Ice Fizz. So, okay, we do get the connection on tower. Oh, we do, we do, we do. Okay. Um, it's still not really going to change too much. I'm going to have to defend really well here. He's probably just going to ignore this and set up a lava. It's what I would do if I was him. But we'll see what he chooses to do. He's going to go for the tombstone. Um, I don't really want to play on those evolved barbs, if I'm completely honest. Because that would be very annoying and a waste of elixir. I'll get the ice was down over here towards the left. And then just tornado everything together, I guess. He's going to just let the expo connect. Like, what is he doing right now? Um, 50 seconds left. I'll go for the Tesla. This is where things can get a little bit scary, though. I don't really know how I'm going to defend this. Um, I guess I'll get the ice was down over here. Go for the second Tesla and then rocket all this garbage. He's probably going to fireball that. Yeah, there it is. That's fine. We'll just go skellies to help um, tank for those pups. And I think we're okay. 30 seconds. He's going to go lava again. This is going to be very close. Um, I'm kind of panicking. I'm not going to lie, as you can probably tell by my hand just flailing around the screen okay we're fine if i just go for the rocket tornado to hit all of that oh and we catch the skelly drag that's going in the highlight reel um all right there's the fireball he misses the tesla yeah no way he comes back at this point we are going to end up winning this even in a two tower situation we were able to 
pull this one off, so we'll give him the good game. At least he's not toxic and crying like every Hog player when they lose the game. Um, you know, except for Ian, guys. Ian does not cry in his, uh, cry whenever he loses the game. He actually says good game, so respect to him. But yeah, GG's. We're up against Hassan here, who I think plays Electro Giant, if I'm not wrong. I'll tell you what, Electro Giant fell off very hard ever since the evolutions were added. I think it was pretty meta for a while there. Um... I mean, I think it was when the Golden Knight, before the Golden Knight, okay, really, um, before the Golden Knight got nerfed to where it doesn't just dash through the entire map, I think I just lost, like, what am I supposed to do here? I could Tornado, but I've already spent so much elixir on this defense, I feel like I shouldn't have to Tornado, and the RG takes half my tower, alright, this is Clash Royale, I'm gonna go for the Expo over here on the right side, um, We'll get the knight down. Um, he's getting e -whiz. I don't have enough for log. Please give me enough for log game. Um, no more shots. And, okay, we are going to get the connection. So, not all bad here. Um, let's see what he does. He goes for the arrows on top of the expo. Obviously, can't hit the knight too, though. So, we're going to get a couple shots from that. And you know what? Even though he just RGs the bridge first play, basically, um, we do manage to pull this game back within reach. So... Still have a chance here. Um, it's going to be very difficult, obviously, because it's just Royal Giant Evolved, almost said Evoluted, um, but it is called the Evolved Royal Giant. Got to go for the Tesla in the middle here. There's the Cage. Honestly, Cage isn't really used in Royal Giant decks either, so this is kind of an off-meta one. Uh, I guess I could just go for the defensive bow. I don't really have too many options. If I play anything in the back, he's just going to get a free fireball. Oh my gosh, he loves to play the Lumberjack for like with the RG. Um, it's going to rage up the evolved RG, and I think we're okay. Yeah, I mean, it's going to get a couple shots on my right side tower, but I don't really care about that too much. I'll just go for the knight and then skellies to DPS down this left side and see what he's going to do here. Okay. So he's going to have to respond to that Ice Wiz. I'm just going to go for the Log to cycle. He goes for the Mega Minion. Okay. So I need to catch him going for like an RG in the back or something and try and spam other lane. Might be my only chance of actually winning this game. Uh, we'll get the Ice Wiz down. I need to keep playing in this right lane. Definitely don't want to allow him to dictate the flow of the game. So we're going to go for the Skeletons up high. And there's the Lumberjack. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go for a second Tesla, which might be a bad play, but we'll figure out if he wants to be aggressive with his RGs. Looks like he's not, um, so I'll just go for the defensive bow on the right side. If he plays RG at the bridge, which he's going to, I can just go Ice Wiz. Don't have enough for Knight, but I can go for the um, Tornado to pull everything in and Log to finish off this Electro Wizard. And Ice Wiz should take care of the rest of that Mega Minion, or like most of it. I'm um, still waiting for him to go for that RG in the back before I go for an offensive expo. Maybe I can try and just expo the bridge. Nah, my tower on the right is actually too low to um, try anything risky right now. So I'll go for the expo on defense once again right here. Let's see how he responds this time. He's just going to go ahead and fireball, which is fine with me. I'll get the skellies down to keep the expo alive. Um, we'll go for the ice wiz in the back. See how he wants to play this here. Um, all right, he's definitely going to RG in this left side since he's setting up, setting up all his support cards. Um, we'll get the Tesla down to snipe the Mega Minion. And then I guess I kind of just have no other choice but to go, oh, that was bad timing, for a defensive um, expo. There's the evolved RG. We'll go for the Ice Wiz. Please tell me that's not going to get raged up. Yeah, we're fine. Um, let's see. I guess I'll go for the Knight, even though it's going to get pushed off because the RG is going to shoot. And um, I guess I'll have to Tesla as well. Not a great sequence for me. I'm not going to lie. But I uh, definitely had to spend way too much elixir on that defense. But at least we didn't lose our whole tower. Okay, he's just going to keep going for cages. This is tough. Um, slowly but surely, I just keep losing damage on my tower. I'm going to mute up and try and focus here. We are in triple, so it's going to be a lot of RGs at the bridge um, for the next couple of... Uh, for the next one minute. So I'm going to go Tesla up high. I always choke in triple, I'm not going to lie. Not even choke, I just get overwhelmed. So hopefully I can not do that this time. I'm going to go for the Rocket NATO. Oh, put that in a montage. Go for the Knight up high. Ice Wiz to the side, and then let's see what he wants to do. He's probably going to fireball that Ice Wiz. Yeah, there it is. We'll go for the Tesla, and then also Log. Just kill the stupid Royal Giant, please. Honestly. Um, okay, there's the Bar Barrel. Kind of a waste right there. He's going to go for a second RG, isn't he? You would think. Okay, there it is. Oh, look at the Knight on the left side. Wait, Knight just clutched up. It just got like five shots. I didn't even realize till now. Going to go for the Offensive Expo as well, just to make him respond to both lanes. We'll get the 
Wild down on the right. Um, go for Skelly's on top of that bar barrel. And then 15 seconds left. I think we win the game here. He's going to go Lumberjack at the bridge, but that's not getting through, obviously. We'll just cycle a NATO to make sure we're up enough damage to where he can't Firebolt for the win. And then make sure I have a Tesla down. That's going to be GG's. Even if he goes for the arrows, I still am up enough, of, uh, enough damage to win the game. So, yeah. <sighs> we're going to beat RG, guys. We finally did it. But yeah, drop, the con drop in the comments what you think I should do for 20k, and thanks for all the support recently. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.